Welcome back to the SSC Sway Lake in Cardiff for day four of the Ashes Test between Australia and England. The gates are open, the fans are starting to pour in and the players are warming up behind me. England though today, if they manage to bowl Australia out for less than 411, they're going to win the first test. As always, we're going to be around the ground and take you behind the scenes as we put together Glamorgan's Ashes video diary. Terry, Jack, great to see you at the SSC Sway Lake this morning. Obviously touring side from New South Wales. You had a game with Glamorgan under-19s yesterday. How did that go? Yeah, look, we had a, we had a cracking game at cricket. Uh, batting first, set 216. And they edged one through the slips in the last day over to beat us nine down. So it was, it was a great game of cricket and a good experience for the boys. Well, it's about time Glamorgan had a little bit of luck. So uh, one cracking game of cricket yesterday and potentially a cracking game of cricket today. Do you, do you uh, fancy Australia's chances despite this uh, chase of 412? Yeah, I reckon, I reckon the Aussies will get it, to be honest. I think they're due for a couple of runs up the top order and um, no, hopefully they get there. I know the Aussies have got a couple of guys that have uh, been on the, your very tour uh, as they were developing as cricketers. A couple of those guys in the side today. Uh, which one needs to have a stormer for you to, uh, to reach this target? Well, we're, we're uh, really strong supporters of Steve Smith, who captain, captain New South Wales CHS only a few years ago. So if he can, he can buddy up with Pup maybe to put on a... Maybe 220, we're a chance. Daniel, Harry, welcome to the SSE Sway Lake this morning. You've got a very, very special role, haven't you, with your classmates behind you? Yeah. yeah. So can you tell us a little bit what you're going to be doing in about five minutes' time? Well, we're going to um, be waving the flags and we're going to be doing that when the, um, and when the players come. Um, yeah, so you're forming the Guard of Honour for us on the fourth morning. So Australia are batting this morning, England are fielding, so you're going to have all the England players walking past. Is there anyone you really want to high-five as yeah, they come past? Alistair Cook. And what about yourself? Joe Root. Joe Root. OK, cool. So guys, can you uh, step back and show me your flag-waving technique? You ready? And everyone get in the shot, off you go. And away you go. Andy, Joe, fancy dress is a weekend tradition for test matches in the grandstand, so thank you for keeping that up. Uh, great effort. Uh, can you talk me a little bit through the costume? After you, mate. Yeah, well, I thought, I'd, uh, I thought, why not give it a go and be the dragon today? And uh, I'm uh, getting married in a few months' time, so first so, of a mini stag few do, mini it? stag do, so uh, time for me to be the dragon. OK, so how many, uh, how many Georges have we got? We've got about eight or nine. There's a few more back at the hotel, so about eight or nine, and a dragon as well. So why are the boys back at the hotel not joined you yet this morning? Are there a few oh, sore heads? Yeah, a, bit, a, bit, a bit of a peaky head at the moment. A bit tender at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so you must have arrived in Cardiff, Cardiff last night. How was the night? How's the buzz in the city ahead of this kind of fourth day of a test match? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. We're looking forward to today. Good night tonight. Yeah, England are yeah. going to win. Andy, Jimmy, welcome to the SSC Swellick. So day four of the Ashes test. And you've got quite a quirky, fancy dress for us with uh, six of your friends just outside as well. Yeah, well, we won't get the Aussies out, all for ducks preferably, so it made sense to wear the duck outfit. You'll so definitely see some celebrations if they go for a duck, that's for sure. It's very creative, it's not something I've seen before and I really like it. Well, I'm slightly concerned that a lot of the Australia fans in there are wearing yellow as well. Is there going to be any danger that you get mixed up? Um, it's a bit of a downside, but to be honest, it's water for ducks back. And obviously with Australia, obviously 412 is a big target to chase. Who do you think's nailed on for a duck today? Which one of our players do you think just doesn't fancy it today? Oh, Shane Watson, I think. He looked really awkward last four days. That weary body, definitely got our eyes on him. Ducks on the pitch, I think, if he goes for a duck. I'll certainly be, uh, be looking out for a duck celebration. Can you give me a little preview or do you not want to jinx it? What, what happens is the hat... It, can, I, can, I just see, can I just see the hat come down? Well, is that... That is fantastic, gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Hey, have a great day. Tim, Jimmy, a great fancy dress from you guys, but I understand it's only two out of 12 that have gone through. That's probably one of the worst uptakes I've seen so far this test. What's going on? Uh, we're, uh, we're latecomers, latecomers to the group. Uh, originally a group of 12, uh, two dropped out. So uh, we stepped into the breach. Uh, I thought it really not to, to be honest. And this was uh, something of a punishment or reward to, uh, for the latecomers to have to take on a fancy dress. Well, we decided actually that we were going to test step, step the plate up a little bit higher. Uh, everyone else has just yeah. turned up a bit plain, so why not? Yeah, you've certainly built the group credibility a lot with that. So, so the only being you, you thought you were going to the tennis today and late tickets came for the cricket and you've headed down here instead. Well, it's, just, it's, it's going to be a great year for, uh, for English sport, I think. A great summer after the, uh, the Women's World Cup. Uh, unfortunately for Andy Murray getting knocked out of Wimbledon yesterday, but you know, we're, we're here to 
step into the breach, I think, and uh, we're doing it for English sport. Guys, firstly, I absolutely love the fancy dress. Obviously, you weren't to know, but we were going to have a, a heat wave in Wales this week. Are you a little bit concerned about the heat up there in the grandstand? Yeah, it's, it's pretty warm already, and it's only going to get worse. And I guess an issue with your costume is there's no way you can kind of delay or take anything off. You're, you're pretty much committed to that for the whole of the game now. Yeah, I might be uh, finding a barber at some stage, but uh, yeah, it's, it, this is us for the day. Obviously stuck in for the day in the heat here, you'll be hoping for an early finish. You'll be hoping England can skittle Australia this morning. Do you, do you think that's, that's going to happen or do you think they're going to put up some resistance? I think we'd like it to be finished by about tea time, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, um, give it four or five hours and then we can uh, hit the town. Four or five hours is going to take quite some bowling. Which of the English bowlers do you think is going to do the damage for us? I quite like uh, our Mark Woods bowl at the minute, I think he's going to do well and uh, on a day four pitch I think Moeen could, uh, could be the difference today. OK, Matty Eaton, lovely to chat to you this lunchtime at the SSC Sway Lake. You've just been on the speed bowling, how did you get on? Uh, I did alright, I got 46, which I'm pretty happy with. A, a bit wayward but I hit, I got 47 which is pretty. Uh, it's too close, sounds like you need to get a rematch in just before lunch. So it's your first day at the test today. How have you enjoyed the morning session? Uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, a few lots of fours. I mean, David Warner getting his 50 as well. So. And then the wicket at the end like, was a good wicket to get. Okay, and obviously we can see from your tops, great big England fans. You'll be hoping for more wickets this afternoon. Yeah. OK, Toby, I think I can just about see you up there. So, uh, interesting role for you this test match. Tell us what you've been doing. Uh, so, I've got this high chair in the fan zone at Glamorgan Cricket. Um, I'm here to encourage the fans, tell them what's going on in the fan zone, let them know when plays started again, um, and basically just make the spectator experience at this Ashes test even better. And obviously, you've, you've been here all week. You must be getting quite, hot, quite a lot of sun cream you've got through this week, I imagine. Yeah, I've uh, very much got a t-shirt tan. It's a bit colder today, so I've got my jacket back on. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, free sunbathing here in the fan zone. And obviously lots going on here in the fan zone. What do you think has been the most popular of the, uh, of the attractions here? Uh, I think there's, there's always a massive queue. for the, We've got the Yorkshire Tea Cricket Simulator with us where uh, fans get to put their goggles on and experience having a ball bowled at them by Jimmy Anderson. That, that's been very popular. Hilary, Rob, two of our SSE energisers, uh, obviously you've been with us all week. I know you've been uh, working all over the city, so tell us a little bit about how that's come about. It's been a great experience this week, been out and about in Cardiff. Um, we've been sort of looking after the people and making sure they get to the stadium safely, uh, making sure they're experienced and they're welcome to Cardiff, it's a fantastic one. So we've stationed ourselves all the way back through into the city, around the Millennium Stadium, back as far as the station. So we've been blessed with some wonderful weather this week. What's the mood been like for, for people arriving in Cardiff and maybe realising that, oh, it's going to be a sunny day after all here in Wales? It's added to it and people have come not just for the cricket, but for the sunshine and they've enjoyed the experience of no rain, and just being part of the lovely atmosphere here from station right through to stadium. Obviously you guys knew you were coming down and performing at tea on day four. What, what was your song choice and what was the thinking behind that? Oh good, good, good thought. Um, we, we sang a, a variety of songs. And um, What was your favourite? Um, I think You've Got a Friend, I think it's my, my favourite. Um, but Lean On Me, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I liked I Can See Clearly now because yes. of the weather, so yes. um, I Can See Clearly now the rain is gone, it's blue skies here, it's... Um Test cricket is so much more than just four days of cricket. We've got all sorts of activations and sponsors around the ground. What do you think has been the real success off the pitch of this test? Yeah, lots going on behind the scenes and all nine test match venues have their own idiosyncrasies and nuances. I think personally we're blessed with uh, a fantastic space behind the pavilion and the, the way the fan zone came together this week. It seems to get bigger and bigger every day. There's a tremendous energy, uh, the live acts, the interaction of visiting supporters and England regulars and the Welsh public was fantastic to see and I, I truly believe that everybody that attended the day of cricket here had a fantastic time and is more than likely to, to return. Obviously a huge challenge you're living a test match and lots and lots of different people coming in and working together. What were the key challenges in, in the delivery of this four-day test for yourself? I think the biggest challenge is ensuring that those 
temporary staff that come and join us for major matches are of the same quality and on the same page as the 35 guys that work here permanently. It's, it's a big challenge to swell your numbers from 35 to well over 1,000, but I've been really struck by the professionalism, the friendliness and the warmth of those people who've recruited on a temporary basis, and they've, they've really lived and breathed our values and helped us to deliver a test that we can be proud of.